in the future is we're going to have to figure out how to extract the function of an object. We're going to have to learn how to train these networks from one picture rather than the thousands of pictures that we're learning today. Definitely, we need a very young, talented workforce to, to uh, overcome all the challenges which are still ahead of us. The data set gets bigger, uh, you can uh, detect more subtle effects. We're going to be focusing more and more on the consumer, the patient, whoever that end user is, because ultimately that's who's most important. If you're working on something that you really enjoy, you'll work on it your entire time. Whereas you're, you're doing something, working on something that someone tells you to work on, you'll only work on it maybe eight hours a day. The common ground is they, they need a good understanding in STEAM oriented subjects because at the end when I talked with physicists or people from the medical field, they could describe me their problem, but at the end, in my daily life, I need to put it in, a, in mathematical methods. I also met a lot of aspiring computer scientists from other parts of the world um, and they helped me sort of open my mind and globalize the concept of computer science because they had some very different tasks at hand in their career compared to where I came from. 